This segment is sponsored by VCU Health. The doctor is in and you have questions. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, adults ages 65 to 74 are five times more likely than adults 18 to 29 to be hospitalized for COVID-19. Joining us to share how older adults can be protected from COVID is Dr. Julia Siegel Brayton, VCU Health Specialist in Geriatric Medicine. Good morning, doctor. It's great to see you. Good morning, glad to be here. Uh, looking forward to our conversation, my first question would be, why are adults 65 and older more likely to be hospitalized for COVID-19? Thanks, Jessica. Uh, so the, the reason adults 65 and older are more likely to be hospitalized for COVID-19 is that the risk for severe illness with the virus increases with age. And this is because as we get older, our immune system becomes less effective. Also, older adults who live in group settings, such as nursing homes or other senior living arrangements are particularly vulnerable because when you combine the risk of exposure from a close living situation with a weakened immune response, you have a much higher risk of not just getting the virus, but having very serious complications because of the virus. Doctor, we've talked quite a bit about the best protections against COVID-19. <laughs> Specifically for this patient population, what are your go-to insights? You no, know, keeping older adults safe starts with vaccination. Vaccination dramatically reduces not only your risk of getting COVID-19, but also reduces the risk of needing to be hospitalized with severe COVID. That being said, even among the vaccinated, older adults are still at a greater risk and is probably, um, as many of your viewers know, the CDC has approved booster shots for people age 65 and older. And now we're urging older adults who've been vaccinated to please go get a booster. And really we should all be vaccinated regardless of our age to protect ourselves and those around us. So in terms of that immediate protection uh, process, the, the vaccination and then the boosters, if you've already been vaccinated, are there other things that we should keep in mind, especially for caretakers or families interacting with an older population? Of course. Uh, what I tell my patients is, you know, to continue to follow the CDC guidelines, wear a mask, especially if you're indoors or in close proximity to others, wash your hands, Stay at home when possible, avoid crowds, and uh, delay non-essential travel. And these practices will help limit exposure to the virus and help stop the spread from those who have it and might not know it yet. Your area of specialty, geriatric medicine specialist. Let's talk a little bit about what VCU Health is doing specifically to help this patient population. Sure. Well... Um, you know, many adults, unfortunately, are avoiding medical care for fear of getting the virus. Um, please do not delay care. Our facilities are safe. Uh, with that said, we are offering multiple care options. VCU Health is making access to care easier. Our team is led by board-certified physicians and nurse practitioners that offer care not only in our clinics, both in person and virtual, but also visit patients in their homes and even in nursing facilities. And additionally, we now offer remote patient monitoring, which allows our team to monitor patients' vital signs remotely. And this helps keep patients safe where they're most comfortable, which is in their homes. Some incredible At a time when we need it. Oh, sorry. Absolutely. No, I'm sorry to introduce you. Some incredible innovations have unfolded during this time to be able to meet those patients where the need is greatest. That's right. At a time when we need it the most, VCU Health is able to deliver care when you need it and where you need it. Dr. Breton, thank you so much for making time and talking with us. We appreciate you. We're going to share a little more information so folks watching can learn more. Visit vcuhealth.org slash C-A-H-M. And stay with us. There's still much more Virginia This Morning coming up.